Today, I'm gonna to show you how to pair your transmitters to your receiver and scan nearby frequencies for the best signal. First, make sure your antenna is attached to the transmitter and receiver. The units will fail to pair without it. The antenna color corresponds to the specific frequency range you're in. Here's a quick graphic explaining what selections to use. For this tutorial, I will be using frequencies in the 500 range, so all of my devices will be using red antennas. On your receiver, enter the frequency menu, then select range. We'll be using 550 to 608. Next, open up the frequency menu on your transmitters and stand by to pair. In your receiver's frequency menu, select scan. This will measure the spectrum in the selected range and automatically find the cleanest channels for your devices to be on. If your current range is crowded, or the noise is too persistent, you can always change the frequency range altogether. Once the scan is complete, you'll see the channels it has selected for you. Press yes. On transmitter one, press pair. It will tell you if the pair was successful. On transmitter two, repeat this process. From here, your devices are ready to be used, but there are a couple more things of note. If later in the shoot day you notice that range or dropouts are becoming an issue, you can always change to a spare frequency that the receiver has saved that was also clean. Just a quick reminder, all of the frequency bands are available to you. If one is giving you trouble, try out more until you get the best results. If you're shooting in a location where certain frequencies must be avoided, you can always manually change the frequency on the receiver. The transmitter will then follow this command. With that, you're ready to jump in and get shooting.